Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody? Hope you have all had an amazing weekend and had some downtime. One of the key things to enable you to really succeed with your marketing is having some time to switch off so that you can let the creative juices flick uh, into your mind and then you can start sharing some of your key information. And it will be different from when you are trying to really squeeze out information, when you give yourself the opportunity to take a step back and to really let yourself get into flow, that's when the good stuff happens. Um, prime example, I suppose, is today, I really I really switched off over the weekend. Um, I, of course, I did a couple of updates in my Facebook group because I like to be consistent and I'll share all about that another day. Um, but other than that, I really had some downtime. I even found myself falling asleep Sleep. I think it was about two o'clock yesterday afternoon. I was laying on my carpet in the sun. And I was just like, ah, oh. and I found myself just like drifting off. And it was absolutely amazing. I think it must have been about 15 years since I've done something like that. A, I never lay on my carpet um, on the floor. And B, I never just drift off. And it was just so calm and lovely. And uh, I think I probably had the best sleep, even though it lasted about five seconds, the best sleep I've had in years and years. So, uh, yeah, there's something quite magical when you just give yourself the chance to breathe. Um, and when I was uh, waking up and, and thinking about what am I going to do all my life today? Because when I do my videos, I don't. Th these are inspired videos. They're not planned out for months and months in advance um, because I go live with them. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching it on repeat, then uh, this was originally a live video. Um, actually, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Uh, say hello. Say you're here. Let me know uh, whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching it on a replay. Let me just check that. Uh, yep, my microphone is working. That's the main thing. There's plenty of you. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me know if you are live or if you're watching it on a replay. Right. OK, so today what I want to talk about, which was inspired from my very short nap yesterday, on the carpet. Um, today, what I want to talk about is the O2020. Okay. And that is online to offline to online marketing. Okay. So online to offline to online. And what we have to understand as marketers, which you are, by the way, as a firm owner, you are primarily a marketer. Um, if you are primarily a um, someone who is doing the accounts, you're going to find it really difficult to grow the business. So as a marketer, which is what you are, um, I would definitely say that you need to be thinking about these things day in and day out. OK, so O2020 is online to offline to online. And the way it works is this. You build your audience online. You get them into your database. You don't just get their email address. You get their physical address as well. You send them through something in the post. And when you send them through something in the post, it could be a physical copy of your ebook. It could be an actual book book. It could be a gift that you send through, some kind of lumpy mail. It could be that you send them through a letter explaining, you know, something that's happening uh, with your business or something that's coming up. Maybe you're going to start doing live events again. Fingers crossed we're able to do those again. OK, so you really need to think about what could you send through offline so not so that you're just contacting them through uh, Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, but something that you could send offline to build that relationship and then you get them back online again. So 02020 is online to offline to online and you get them, you build your audience online, you then get them offline, send them through some kind of marketing, but something that's really good value and then get them back online again. And there's something quite magical when you get something in the post. It's a completely different experience. So when I send through, I send through copies of my book. Um, and what I do is I, I say to people, would you like a copy of my book? And then not only when I say, would you like a copy of my book? If I have some really key ideal clients that I really would like to work with, I'll just send them a copy of my book anyway. OK, so what we do is we send through copies of books so that we build that relationship online as well as offline. OK, so we have the online of here I am offline. Here's a copy of my book. And I send a letter with that book outlining who I am, what I do and how I work with people. Now, there's something quite magic about that as well, because when someone's reading a letter about who you are and how you help people, it's very different from seeing someone online all the time. And then if I've sent through a book, 
I will then contact them online again saying, hey, how are you finding the book? And that mixture of online, offline, online really builds a relationship and really builds trust. So I want you to think about now, how can you implement the formula of 02020? Okay, so online to offline to online. Okay, how can you make sure that you are maximizing your opportunities? You don't have to have something all singing or dancing. I'm not saying about sending through a great big box of goodies and loads of different things. It's about what could you send through to your ideal client to build that relationship offline, okay, so that you can then build the relationship online much, much easier because online is time saving. Saving online is that you can be in front of them omnipresent all the time. Offline is something that goes through the post and lands on their doorstep, but you won't be doing that every single day or three times a day like I do online, okay? Now, there's another thing I want you to think about. That's that's with your, your physical products. Now I want you to think about how you build relationships with people. And one of the reasons why I love speaking opportunities and I can't wait for exhibitions to come back next year and I can't wait to speak at Accountex next year and I can't wait to travel over to Australia. We've got something up our sleeve for going over to Oz and holding some events. Um, I can't wait for that. And the reason why is because I'm building a relationship uh, online and then what I'm doing is I then build a relationship offline so that when I'm back online again, I have an even more solid relationship with you guys because I've looked in the whites of your eyes. Now, we all know that building relationships online is fantastic. It makes it very, very easy and it's very doable, but there's something quite magical when you can give someone a hug although we can't really do that at the moment, but when you can give someone a hug, when you can look in the whites of their eyes and go, do you know what? It's so lovely to meet you face to face. I always remember um, a lady called Nicola Donnelly, um, and many of you might know Nicola, and uh, she runs a really good Facebook group here for UK accountants and bookkeepers, and she came along to Accountex a about three years ago, I think it was. And we had a stand at Accountex and she came up to me and she was like, Amanda, I'm Nicola. And I'm like, Nicola, it's great to meet you. And we had been conversing online and she'd been watching me online, but was really pleased to meet me face to face. And that relationship from meeting her online, we, we took pictures together and it was really great to build that connection face to face. And that relationship is now much more solid because we've met offline as well as online. So if you can go online to offline to online, if you can find a way to take people on that relationship with you, whether it's meeting them face to face or whether or not it's sending through something physical in the post, like a copy of a book, okay, that will transform the trust that is built, the value that you build with uh, people. It will transform the way people actually see you. They'll see you as a person rather than just this thing online, okay? They will actually have more confidence to reach out and speak to you on the phone because they've met you face to face or they've received something in the post. All right, so just think about how could you implement the 02020 formula so that you can have success in your business. Now, if you would like a copy of my book, then let me know and we can get a copy of that to you. If you're in the UK, we'll send you through a physical copy really quickly. If you are in the States or Australia or South Africa, we're gonna send you through a digital copy at the moment, um, but we are looking at ways to get distribution over easily. Um, at the moment, it costs an absolute fortune. I couldn't believe it. It's something like 15 pounds to get one over to, um, to America. And I was like, right, okay, we're gonna look at a, a much easier way to do that so I can get my books out en masse over to America. Um, but I can get you a PDF copy if you'd like one and get your physical copy if you're based here in the UK that's not a problem at all um, but what I would like you to think about is if you would like some support with getting those high value clients then send me a message with the word momentum okay if you send me a message on Facebook or LinkedIn with the word momentum we will get some details over to you on how you can get those high value clients how you can actually maximize your opportunities so that you actually have lots of conversations with prospects because Clients only come through conversations, okay? So message me the word momentum and I'll show you how to get people into conversations. And from that, we can see whether or not we're a good fit and whether or not we can work together. Um, if you'd like a hard copy of my book in the UK, then let me know. And uh, if you are in America, uh, Australia or South Africa or anywhere else in the world and you'd like a digital copy, let me know and we'll get one over to you. Okay. Hi, Nat. How are you doing? Um, Ilak, uh, you would like a copy of my book. That's absolutely great. We can get that sorted for you. Um, and I will catch up with you all soon and see you later.
Have a great day. See ya. Bye.